Hey, what's up, everybody? Craft Beer Review Time. Um, tonight I'm doing uh, something a little different. I'm doing three different beers from the same brewery. Um, I usually just do one beer at a time. Um, but tonight I'm doing uh, a couple beer or a few beers from Freak Folk Brewing in uh, it's Waterbury Village up in Vermont, um, not far from the Alchemist. You know who did uh, Heady Topper and Focal Banger and so many more great beers, IPA wise. Um, so tonight I'm doing Freak Folk up in Vermont, where I was supposed to be a couple weeks ago, but it's not, neither here nor there. Uh, first one I went with from Freak Folk was Fashion War. Pretty dope can art, I guess. Um, you know, it's an IPA hanging about, I want to say about 7.2%, not positive, don't quote me on that. Uh, it was Amarillo and El Dorado and, and, and Citra Hopped. Um, you know, Amarillo really just like cascade on steroids. Uh, you know, you get the cannabis, a lot of it, and some grapefruit. You know, El Dorado, you're mostly getting, you know, mango and pineapple. Um, you know, a little bit of watermelon. It was really good. I liked it a lot. I think I, I was about 4.4 out of 5 on Unsapped with that one. Um, second one I did from Freak Folk was Ethereal Beauty. You know, you see, kind of got that weird looking stag or buck on there. Um, you know, expect the Patronum, if you would. Any Harry Potter fans uh, with the stag? Um, the Ethereal Beauty was uh, another, is a double IPA. I want, I'm going to say about 8.5%. You know, Nelson and Citra and Rowaka. You know, Citra, you know, you always get that great fruit peel and the manga, mango and, and, and orange peel. Um, you know, Citra, I love. It's one of my favorite hops. It's good in anything. You can mix it with anything or, or just roll with it uh, on its own. Um, so that's a fantastic hop. Um, Nelson, you know, you get a lot of that white grape, um, some of the mustiness. Um, you know, uh, maybe a little bit gooseberry. Um, but it's a great hop. A huge fan of Nelson Hop. And last but not least, the beer I'm drinking right now is uh, Cult of Billy. Um, by the way, jamming out the little Offspring, Come Out and Play. You know, that was huge in the 90s. Um, everybody knows it. Uh, from the Smash album. Nice. Got a little Smashing Pumpkins coming on now. Um, I love the 90s music. I love almost all music. Um, it's my it's my thing. Um, craft beer too. Um, this is nice. The cult of Billy. Um, you see that great that great color you're looking for on on your your hazy IPAs. You know, I think that's uh, definitely got some mosaic. Yeah, get that diesel. And people think that's weird to say, but yeah, you get some diesel in a good way, you know, uh, definitely some cannabis, uh, you get some strata that's going on with a little strawberry and, and dried chilies. That's a fantastic beer. It, it's earthy, it, you know, it's dank, it's slightly herbal, um, yeah, smash the pumpkins tonight, tonight, great fucking song, dude, pumpkins rock, dude, you know, it's, they're up there with... Some of the greats coming out in the 90s. Um, that's a fantastic beer. Listen, as um, if you haven't had Freak Folk beer yet, get them. Um, they're phenomenal, especially if you're an IPA fan. They're putting out great haze. Um, they're one of the newer comers on the scene as far as in the IPA world, but they're going to run with the big dogs. Um, you know, they're, they're putting out great stuff. You know, they're, they're going to be up there with the Fidens and the Treehouses and the Monkishes and, 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 and that crew. So, um, check them out. If you get a chance, that's, um, Freak Folk Beer out of Waterbury, Vermont. And, um, that's another review. I hope everybody's having a great weekend. Um, you know, like I always say, you know, be cool, be kind, you know, drink what you love. And, um, I'll see you next time. Tschüss.